there was no hip hop festival before. It was all EDM festivals. It was all you know different genre festivals like Coachella and stuff like that. So I think I think this gave a platform to a lot of the younger artists that never had a chance. If you look back, Lil Uzi, Travis Scott, Playboy Cardi, like all these people were performing at the first Rolling Loud. If we didn't have a Rolling Loud, would we have the same superstar energy that we have now? inspires a lot of upcoming creatives. I've seen a lot of posts where people are like, this year I'm in the crowd, but next year I'm gonna be on stage, and it really does happen to people. So I guess it really is like a creative epicenter filled with people who are like-minded, are into the same interests, so I think it really helps with the networking aspect of things. Well, I just feel like LA is already such a diverse place to be in, so just Rolling Loud bringing together all these artists from I mean, all over the country just unifies LA just a little bit more. Like the age range on this shit, like a lot of the time is crazy. Yeah. And so it like, inspires a lot of kids and it's like they can do that shit too, doesn't matter what age, how old. No matter what path you choose, whether you're creative in front of the camera or behind the camera, working with a big company or working with yourself, you're gonna go through a long list of obstacles. So there's never an easy route. There's no such thing as cheating the system. There's no secret mechanism. I was rejected from every art school that I ever applied to. So it kind of motivated me to just keep going and keep doing what I was doing. And that's why I don't have any advice for, you know, young Chris, because I never gave up. I, I never stopped doing what I was doing. I was really, I'm really happy with the progress that I've made in the last 18 years of my career. You gotta kinda dive in the pool if you wanna be drowning in shit. A lot of people, they say like, oh, I wanna be an artist, but if you look at your Instagram, they look like they're basketball players. So you gotta like, reap what you're trying to do. I love that it just kind of brings us all together. We're here for the hip hop and rap culture. We're here to support up and coming artists. We're here for like the main people. And I just love how no matter where we come from, it connects us all.